guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an in-depth organizational OCD-ish type <laughs> uh, clothing wardrobe tour how to <laughs> uh, about maybe a couple months ago I did um, a bedroom tour on, and I showed you guys how my bedroom is decorated and a lot of you guys really liked how I organize my wardrobe so I thought I would do an in-depth not really a tutorial but an in-depth explanation on how I organize my wardrobe I did get a little bit of inspiration from this book called the art of tidying up is it called the art of tidying up that would be really embarrassing if it's not found it. The book that I recently read that kind of motivated me a little bit more on, um, you'll see in my drawers how I organize a little bit, um, I got it from The Life Changing, Mag the Life -Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. Is it Kondo? Kondo? I'm not sure. It's kind of like a Japanese art type thing where you tidy up and you feel free, liberated, like a weight has been lifted off off of you type of thing <laughs> but I actually really like cleaning my room it's pretty therapeutic for me and as anybody that has ever come to my room will notice that I'm pretty OCD with how I keep everything um, as soon as something is not in the right place I kind of sort of freak out but don't be like me just don't uh, but I will show you now a little tour you won't see me in the background but I will go ahead and flip the camera over and show you guys how I organize my space okay so pretty much um, what I got from the book when reading it was the fact that you have to organize in the way that your eye moves across the room or something like that but I actually kind of already organized my stuff like that so I have my darks first and then it goes to light I don't have that much color so I wasn't hard organizing everything and then I have my jackets and uh, long sleeves then it goes to short sleeves to no sleeves kind of thing so that's pretty much the top row is that way and then the bottom row is pretty much my coats on the corner uh, my pants here and then dresses and long shirts and stuff like that over here and again, it is color coordinated. So pretty much the thing that I do for my closet to pretty much organize it is just to stick to color coordinating it and then the length of stuff to make it look a little bit neater. So that is pretty much my wardrobe in my closet. And it is also like an open space closet so I get to see everything, all my wardrobe. So I wanna make sure I know exactly what I have. Even things that I guess normal people would fold and put away. I kind of just like hanging everything. I guess that's the one thing from the book that I don't follow is even though I should be folding it and putting it into a drawer, I don't just because I like hanging everything. So that's pretty much my closet space. Now on to my shoes. So my shoes, like I said, normally the blacks come first and depending if they're you know pointed toes and they go together and then I have my nudes which are here the same type of shoe together then my boots go next my sneakers and my fluffs and last but not least and then boots that can't fit up here go there so the shoes are pretty easy to organize okay so starting off in these drawers I have my accessories in here and in here so as you can see I don't have that many accessories or stuff like that in here um, I do have my belts in this one my belts in this one a hat from my friend um, my friend's clothing line and then just kind of belts and stuff like that so I don't have that many things in this one and accessories I'm not such a accessory wearer so but I do have you know 
necklaces, a lot of chokers. This also is from her line, Envy Me Boutique. This is one of my favorite ones to wear. The diamonds. Okay, let's put that back. So I have a lot of different type of chokers that I love wearing. This is actually a bra strap that I made into a choker. It works, man, it works. And then I have all my rings in here. I literally have the biggest ring size in the world. Cute. All right, so that's what's in here. More. This is what I, this is the headband I put on to put on my makeup. And then Halloween makeup stuff is in here. I don't know why I just put in there, but there you go. This is this drawer. I didn't really organize it too much. However, if you do want to organize drawers like these, I would suggest getting containers. I got this one at the container store. I have um, also this box that I got, I think, from my headphones, my Beats. I just use the lid as something. So I would suggest getting containers to put inside of your drawers. It organizes it a little bit better and creates a little bit more space to move things around so that everything can fit. So the following drawer is, so this next drawer is kind of the miscellaneous of things. Um, so tops that I use to work out, like lounging wear, sleepwear, or I work out in. So you'll see I kind of organize it again by color. So I have my blacks, my grays, my whites. I'm, I'm very, uh, have a simple neutral color palette and then of course with the pops of color my sports bras and stuff like that for the gym and then I also like I again I have containers these are things that either I don't want or doesn't fit me and I have them in containers so that I remember either to list on Poshmark or to give away so that's what these are for and then of course my towel that I take to the gym so again, the the type of folding that I do here, I got from the book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. The author then explains how you're supposed to kind of um, fold your clothes in a way where you can kind of see everything that's in the drawer so that you know, hey, like I wanna pick up this, you just pick it up and you kind of, ooh, you don't mess up the organizationalness of the, your stuff and then you just bring it back in folds pretty easily back into where it belongs and I see where everything is so it's easy for me to access everything on to the last but not least the bottom drawer on this one is kind of miscellaneous in a sense this is just my blankets sweatshirts PJs and winter stuff and my dog's clothes. <laughs> so I have that kind of organized down below. Again, I use the exact same folding technique so that I can stand everything up and see everything that is in the drawers so I can easily just pick it out and put it back in. All right, so onto the left side of my dresser, I kind of organized these where, there's a hair in there. These are pretty much like my candles, band-aids, swabs, cotton swabs, is it cotton swabs? cotton balls so just things that I would need either these are the hair clips and stuff like that I have them all in here and of course this to turn on the candles so I kind of organize them again with containers just because it's easier for me to just grab something if I need it and then put it back and then open up the containers and grab what I need to get so I like that and plus I don't have that much clothes in these so I wanted to make sure I use up all the space that I can this is my hair drawer. These are actually my sister's wigs, but she lives in here. Um, so these are wigs, these are my extensions. And then I have my utensils in here. So my straightener, my curling iron, my crimping iron, my blow dryer, the best blow dryer ever, I'm gonna say, the bionic. This one, it's amazing. My spray for when I need to wet my hair and stuff like that. Hairspray, best hairspray. This L'Oreal. And then I have my mitt, even though I don't use these mitts, and that's why I have burns all over my hands. And then of course my 
my different brushes, combs. So I organize that all in here at the top because I normally do my hair in this section of the room anyway. So that's how I organize this space. So pretty much what I do with every drawer is I organize it by category. So of course the hair goes in one category, accessories go in one category. So this drawer is mainly bathing suits, shapewear, underwear, <laughs> socks, everything like that. So pretty much the bathing suits go there, again by color and type. And then how I organize, I know TM, TMI, but my underwear is I roll them up into little, like little balls. And then I can see them all as I'm looking, so I could just pick them out and then my stockings, I have my stockings back there, bras, all that kind of stuff. Then here is just miscellaneous things. You always have to have a miscellaneous drawer. This is my miscellaneous drawer. I just have stockpiles of stuff that I need to give people. And then, yeah, you can see some of my merch. Um, boxes of stuff I still have to um, open. Oh yeah, this is for my bathroom. These foaming baths, the best. Anyways, so yeah, this is just kind of like the messy drawer, so. So that was it. I hope you guys liked it. I know it's a little extreme. <laughs> uh, so if you want to get some tips from this video, that would be great to incorporate into your life. You could go ahead and do so. Um, if not, then hopefully this video was entertaining for you. <laughs> and I uh, hope you learned something, and I will see you guys all in my next video.